This is a video tour of the luxury equestrian property in Pinellas County. This is brought to you by George Kokoris and Samira Sabine. What's up everybody? This is Big George Kokoris and uh, I'm here getting a beautiful uh, view of this wonderful 2.4 million dollar home here and Samira is going to walk us through the whole thing she's a listing agent and so let's go out walk up and uh, go meet Miss Samira here all right let's go see Miss Samira Hey! Hi. Welcome to 199 Old East Lake Road. Thank you, thank you. We are excited about this. Thank you so All much for doing right. this tour. Oh, no, absolutely. I appreciate you giving us the uh, beautiful tour through this amazing equestrian home. Absolutely. So, um, as you walk into this property, you notice the first thing that I notice personally are the floors. Um, so, these floors are actually fossil stone imported from Italy. Um, so it's a very unique floor and it resembles travertine but it's one level higher i would say um, so you have gorgeous gorgeous floors uh, throughout you have some real wood as well and if you take a notice to the uh, crown molding that we have uh, all throughout as well as the baseboards everything is custom and she just i mean they did not um, spare any expense and attention to detail is phenomenal. Everything is hand painted um, and it's the Venetian plaster style as well on the walls. It's just stunning. So, um, you have a double wood, a double sided gas fireplace here that also uh, can be viewed from the outside hot tub as well, which is awesome. Um, so, let me just give it a turn around here this way they can see the door. Very and all that glass, she custom, customized that design herself, uh, the seller, so it's, a, it's very, very unique and one of a kind. Absolutely. I mean, if you're not catching this on the video, believe me, this home, uh, every detail, every nook and cranny has totally uh, been hand-picked. None of this is uh, something you would call cookie cutter in any way, absolutely shape, or form. Not, absolutely not. So would you like to start into this study and what I like to call the corner room, or would you like to go ahead and move on to the kitchen and the, what I would call the east wing? Oh, well, let's do the study real quick and then we can focus on the uh, east wing. Uh, beautiful study and you can use it as a library or you can feel free to use it as an executive office um, it's a very versatile space and you can use this um, to however your you know however it would fit your needs awesome seem to be a great library the tray ceilings just the, again you have the clouds painted on the ceiling it's very whimsical property um, and I just love the attention to detail again it's just it, Everything is, it matches, everything is, is state of the art. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. I love, I love the ceilings. That I know, me too. I love that touch. So currently the windows are going to be, they're going to be clean from the outside. And unfortunately you really can't see out to the grounds, but these, these windows all here uh, have a view of the property. And then from this door here, you have a view of the swimming pool um, and spa, and you can see some of the land as well. So this was originally used as a gym. Um, and then it was used as a dance studio for a little bit. And I mean, you can even use this as like a family room type situation as well. The floors are real cork um, and it's just a really, really awesome room. Wow, this is pretty cool. Cork floors. So cool, right? Awesome. Beautiful. You following me? <laughs> I'm following you. <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as I said, uh, this would be, I could see, an awesome gym room. Right. Just because you have that, you can look out onto your property. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek through the windows, but again, they're dirty, so please do not judge. Um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take, with all the rain that we've been getting, it um, doesn't take a whole lot, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, the windows, you clean them, and then the next day, this one's not that bad. Oh man, I can't wait to get out there. I know, we're gonna get out there. So. Oh wow. Yeah, no, definitely. I could definitely see being on a treadmill here. Um, you know, this is uh, 
would be an absolute treat every day to have your personal gym in here. Absolutely, I'll bring my trainer in here too. And you wouldn't have to leave your house. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. All right. East wing. I like it. So three hundred four. You can fit a very, very large table in here. Personally, myself, from a design standpoint, I would add French doors uh, on this wall right here. Mm -hmm. It's very inexpensive um, to do, and if you do it the right way, of course, um, and it would just completely transform this room just having that little bit of extra natural light but then also on the flip side i really like moody and dark rooms as well so i feel like this room could also have a really beautiful tone and theme set as well um if that's the mood and tone and vibe that you were going for so okay and here we come into these gorgeous gorgeous oh. gourmet kitchen that you could smell has just complete which uh, technical difficulties. I am just playing a camera guy. I'm not one in real life. <coughs> I said I am just playing a camera guy. I'm oh. not one in real life. <laughs> it's <laughs> Thank a learning God. process. Oh uh, so I'm going to point out some features in what? I said, oh, uh, I, I'm a chef, uh, oh. you know. So believe me, to, to see this type of space is a dream. It is so cool, right? Uh, so you have the butcher block island, so it's safe to cook on, sealed, um, and just a stunning, stunning centerpiece in my opinion. Um, and then you have the awesome crown molding as well on top of the cabinets and it extends on through the tray ceiling as well. Um, and then here you have custom made chandeliers. Uh, the seller of the home fell in love with a chandelier that she saw in a catalog behind Bill Gates and she contacted the creator of that chandelier and designer and she made it for her. So you would be, this would be one of two um, and the other one is in Bill Gates' home. So it's very unique, the little pears hanging from it and beautiful crystals. Mm -hmm. um, so these are definitely stunning pieces uh, within, the, within the home. Um, if you look at the very top, another little fun whimsical thing um, is the directionals with the chickens on them. So you got northwest, south, and the east. And then if you come over here, yeah. you got little ones. So there's little Easter eggs throughout the home. Mm, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I move quicker than it does. <laughs> Technology. Yeah. yeah. So then you got those directionals at the top. So there's little things that you can come across on this property that are just so unique and cool. Um, so just a little That's, feature I like to point it out. There it is. So you got southwest to the left and then northwest to the right. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Little unique things that... You know, some homeowners put their special touches on the property, and uh, it's actually pretty cool. Especially, so, so this right here, is that a uh, refrigerator? This is not a refrigerator, actually, unless you ask. Oh. This is a ice maker. So oh. if you like awesome. your cubed little ice, um, this is where you need to That is phenomenal so you will cool, not right? run out if you're an ice person i'm personally not an ice person so i am i'm always yeah. running out of ice okay all right <laughs> always always that is cool little feature there and then one thing that people come in and they ask is where's the dishwasher well the dishwasher is right here oh so look at that awesome double um stacked dishwasher that looks almost new on the inside um which is awesome beautiful beautiful i just love that everything is flush um, and matching and then you come over here to the sink you have instant hot water here and then not only that but you have an additional water faucet that's got coconut a coconut husk filtration system on it as well as a reverse osmosis system so with the two um you just have the purest water possible and then all of her faucets and doorknobs are also very very high end um horror uh like the roll faucet so that's r-o-h-l it's a roll and then you have your mountain rocky mountain hardware um for all of the doorknobs and the 
locks to all of the doors. So they're all they're called potato knobs, um, and each doorknob ranges about two hundred dollars to six hundred dollars, depending on the locking mechanism. All right, I want to point out a couple of little things that uh, for all you kitchen buffs out there, these are things you're not going to see in a regular kitchen i mean this is obviously a not just a, not just a custom kitchen but this is like this would be could be in a restaurant i mean it, you have this look, look at this an amazing uh is this a viking uh stove but it oh, is absolutely gorgeous uh thermidor professional grade i mean essentially you could cook food here just like you would at a at a restaurant you got warming drawers over here that is uh, phenomenal. And, uh, you know, I, the, the thing about this whole kitchen that I just love, not only is it huge, not only does it have professional equipment, and the decor is absolutely matching throughout the house, or, you know, throughout the whole kitchen, but you don't see, like, a silver refrigerator. You know, they actually have the cabinets tied in. It's all tied in together, and... Uh, you know, absolutely beautiful the way they did it. So uh, very, very custom. Here. Um, she has ordered um, new handles, so there are new hardware coming in. Mm. Um, so you have your refrigerator here, but then also you've got two original, uh, two additional uh, cooling uh, systems here as well. So you have two oh. drawers that you can customize to whatever temperature that you prefer. Um, there's also a massive freezer in the pantry. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that next. All right. Wow, that's cool. This this kitchen is an absolute dream. Well, wait till you see the pantry, guys, because this is an absolute dream as well. Mm -hmm. We have a Tiffany chandelier hanging inside your pantry. <laughs> My gosh. Now that is a pantry. Absolutely. That is a pantry. That is. And we have additional counter space here as well. So if you don't like to have appliances out on your counter, this would be where I would put my appliances. Refrigerator. That's, no. that's a freezer, I'm sorry. Freezer, okay. Wow, Tiffany lamp in your pantry. That would be <laughs> that would be awesome. Here's one of the additional bathrooms here that's located between the bedrooms. So again, you pay attention to the detail of the faucets. Everything is just beautiful and very tasteful. Absolutely gorgeous. There's two bedrooms here. You have a walk in closet off of this bedroom. So the floors in here are unfinished, so they'll, they want to leave it up to the future buyer. However, they want to stay in them. These are real hardwood floors, uh, so they just have to have a nice little fresh buff on them, and you can stay in them to whatever your heart desires. Personally, myself, I kind of like the light. Feel, so I would mm. do like a very like a whitewash look in here because everything else is dark. So, yeah, I, I like that idea too as well. I think that uh, would definitely mix it up a little bit in the house and give it a little modern. You know, honestly, I don't care what level of home somebody buys on any type of uh, resale home. We're always going to put our finishing touches to kind of make it our yeah. make it our own. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree a hundred percent. Oh no. Another now they, bedroom here, simple bedroom, closet. Very simple. Nice simple, we like simple. It doesn't need to be overboard in every room, but I mean the crown molding around every you know door. Every nook and cranny. Every nook and cranny. This is all very, very well done in here, especially 
I just love the way everything just ties in. Absolutely wonderful. All right. The cool little old school phone boot style. Oh, oh I don't know that is that. awesome. They've not changed the bulb yet. The bulb just went out uh, last week during the showing. So it like, right. went on and then it went off. So um, for the young people, we that's a phone booth. And that's <laughs> actually what these, that was a workable phone. You put money in you there. You put money in there. It's coin. Coins. I don't know if you know what coins are. I don't know. We're running out of coins now. <laughs> I, I can't get coins at Publix anymore, oh so my goodness. just so you know. Um, uh, you come down this bedroom, you have a utility <laughs> closet here. Um, they have uh, their um, uh, security system and their camera system in here. It is currently not on, though, so um, it's running, but they don't have their uh, their monitor on. So. Very well. State of the art is a beautiful camera system. Everything is very clear and sharp. Um, so as you come down this hallway, we have another full bath here, which is awesome. And then what's really cool is off of, I mean, every time I come and see these little um, areas, I guess it just makes, you be, makes your heart flutter because it's so whimsical. So if you come out here, you have an outdoor shower. Right here. Outdoor shower. So how cool is that? Wow. So fun. Bam. If you're coming in off the pool, a little shower and or even if you're riding so if, you, or, yeah. if you're out you're on the uh, doing the yard area. work hey because some whoever buys it might want to do some yard work people mm -hmm. have their hobbies oh my gosh just absolutely stunning wow look at that entryway if you even as a side entryway it's absolutely impressive I mean, and then, okay, so you see like the edge of the building there, folks, that's done on purpose. Uh, it's got that what I, uh, what old Italian type. Uh, so she actually had the same painters and architectures that worked on the Disney Cinderella Castle at Disney World worked on the exterior of this home. So uh, all the cracks are done intentionally. They're all faux cracks, so there's no structural or um, <laughs> foundational issues everything was done on purpose and then also one thing that you can notice since we're so up close here is the gutters so all of the gutters are pure copper um, and that's including the horse wow. stables as well as the in-law suite and the garage so you've got copper gutters, copper, copper gutters throughout um, which cost upwards of hundreds hundred thousand dollars yeah co copper is no joke this is absolutely awesome these are the types of things you are not going to see on any run-of-the-mill home I mean, this is uh, truly elite. Gosh, this is just, they she really just spared no expense, you know, uh, making her dream home. Yeah, this was, this was absolutely her dream home, absolutely. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> All right. All right, Samir, where are we going next? Go on in, I'll walk up the door, and we're going to make a left. Yeah, we're going to make a left. We're going. Um. So to the left here, you have another bedroom. And as you come down the hall further, you have the left. So here we have another bedroom. Okay, just regular, but still, I'm gonna say regular, but crown molding all the way around, built-in closets. Um, you know, in this house, that's regular. Uh, <laughs> that's just uh, funny even stating that. So here we have a master suite. Ah. All right, that's the the guys walk in, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the men's closet, absolutely. Yeah, so we have to buy a 
couple million dollar home just so the guys can actually have a shot at some sort of walking closet. All right. So again, so this is the master bathroom. Now, as you can see, the cowboy's been continued even through the cowboy's bathroom. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then this is the master bedroom. Yeah. And this is the master bathroom. Yeah. Sure. Um, and then here you have the fossil stone going up throughout as well and onto the ceiling. Oh, let's look at that. Again, wow. beautiful, beautiful faucets and um, and features. And this shower glass door has been imported from Italy, so this is really beautiful as well. And I don't know if the camera is probably not going to pick it up, but it's got like little diamond cuts throughout the whole mirror or the, uh, the door here, the glass. And it's absolutely awesome looking. It's so cool in person. Uh, almost looks like somebody took saran wrap and sprinkled it up just ever so slightly. Right. Uh, so then you have a gas burning fireplace off of your bathtub, which is awesome. Uh, wow. Very, very cozy for all those Florida winters that we have. But it's really, <laughs> like, honestly, I, I would do it almost every evening if this was my bathroom. So, so shower, you know, bathtub with champagne and a fireplace. Champagne for Boom. sure. Boom. So here you have what I like to call the makeup room, or if you want to call it the powder room, or the get ready room. Um, I would, this is where I would probably do my makeup and have my jewelry all laid out. And yeah, I mean, this is the room. And then coming here, this is the actual master closet. So this is where I like to. Um, I'm gonna start. I mean, you got here. racks on racks on racks for scarves, purses, belts, anything that hats. Oh, um, Jesus. Only thing I would change in here, and I'm going to be fully honest with it, is the light fixtures in here. Yeah. So I'm very upfront with people about certain things that I would personally change or what I've heard people come up with that show this house so much. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing that I would change. Yeah, the light fixture is definitely get rid of that. And I, th I tell you what, probably even some more lighting right above where the mirror yes, is. Yes, I would add some can lights in throughout the house or some recessed lighting, absolutely, so. Awesome. Wow. Beautiful, and just details, folks, details. That's, I know. That's what makes luxury luxury. And look at the ceiling in there, too. Look at the just, ceiling in the bathroom. Yeah, you know, you're looking up in the clouds. Oh, it no, it captures that's, it wonderfully. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm looking down here, and then you're going in, and bam. I mean, it looks like I'm looking outside. Right? It's just, I think it's so beautiful. It's Your so camera gorgeous. is picking it up fabulously. Oh, wow. That is amazing. And the views. I mean, folks, we're, we're in Pinellas County. It's not a lot of places in Pinellas County where you're going to be able to get some of these types of views. I mean, that's for sure. Absolutely lovely. Nice and tranquil. You wouldn't even know that just, you know, Absolutely. about a half mile away, there's busy intersections and, yes, and, also, and everything else. Um, you are very close to a lot of marinas. You're close to world-class um, golfing communities. You are close to downtown Tampa. You are close to the Tampa International Airport. You're close to St. Pete. You're close to Brooksville if you want to go further north. You jump on US-19, boom, it shoots you straight to Tallahassee. Um, I mean, the, the location is just unmatched, Ideal. honestly. For being 7.07 .07 acres on high, dry land that has no flood insurance necessary, um, no flooding ever happens on the property because it was intended for a for an, it was intended to be an equestrian property. So when you have horses, um, obviously you don't want them slushing around in mud and in high waters. So this property is um, just extremely, extremely unique. So wait till we go outside, guys. So we are getting close. I'm gonna shut off lights as we go because turning these all off at the end is very tedious. <laughs> that is true. Yes. Sometimes it takes us longer to do that than it yes. was sit there all day. <laughs> I, I just absolutely am enamored with this place. Just the the details all the way around. It's hard not to keep yeah. your eyes all over. I'm not walking straight. I'm going to try not to walk into a wall here. <laughs> so if you want to take a, a left down the stairs, we'll do a quick tour of the downstairs area. The, and make sure you get the walls and ceilings in here. Here as well. Oh, so look, the layer, look so. at this. Look another at the walls. Wall. Another area. We're just... The detail. 
I mean, wow. That is just awesome. I mean, true, true artistry. Absolutely. This is definitely um, functional art. Yes. Don't be surprised by the laundry room now. Here we go. It's more like a laundry suite. Laundry suite. That's huge. Don't worry about, uh, you know, cleaning this, folks, because you probably have a maid. You probably will have some. <laughs> you have house crew. <laughs> There's a whole lot down here as well. The only thing that's not in there is the sink, but you can have it on the outside. So if you have somebody who's working on the yard, working on the stables, they don't want, you don't want them dragging through the house, and somebody else is using the upstairs shower off of the um, terrace, uh, you know, somebody can come down here and shower and not have to drag the mud through the house. All right. I mean, even just in a gish bathroom, it's absolutely gorgeous. Full. <laughs> wow. And then through here you have a gym or I personally would make the cork room a gym upstairs and make this a theater room. I would block out all these windows um, and make this area here. On the top of the mini fridge, popcorn machine, snack area, um, and that would be that. And then I would put the screen up on the wall to your left and kick back and relax. Absolutely, I can see that happening. With the right offer to you guys, this gym equipment could be yours. So. <laughs> now that's awesome. Look at that squat rack. That's, that's a nice one. Got a buddy of mine. That's in the utility closet. There is um, both circuit breakers for the whole property. Okay. Amazing. And just look at the like, like, <laughs> Tiffany lamps everywhere. <laughs> I mean, So again, this is a beautiful house tour. 199 Old, Old East Lake Road. Lake Road. Okay, we got over 6,000 square foot. Yes, 6,000 square feet. You have an in-law suite, five bedrooms, five and a half bath. Well, the downstairs bathroom is considered a half bath. 7.07 uh, acres. She just Redid all the sod so you can see that it's very lush right now. Um, tennis court was redone as well. So that's a Welsh hydro grid tennis court, state of the art. Professional tennis players play on the same exact style court. Um, and these cost $100,000 if you were to put them in from scratch. So Jeez. Uh, maybe even more now because of what's going on in the world. I feel like pricing for pools, tennis courts, any extracurricular. Mm -hmm. um, kind of things um, have been you know, definitely gone up in demand and as we all know when demand goes up so there's the price 100 percent. there's some pool companies that won't even talk to you if you're not if your pool is not going to cost at least eighty thousand dollars yeah i know there's talked to a few others uh, people as well and that we know in the business and you know you could be six eight months out even if you if oh, you can yeah. get in if you can get on that list absolutely and then you have the hot tub with the fireplace. I love that. This is, oh, this is so many things you could just do the out here. The word that comes to mind for me with this property is opulence. It's like luxury elevated. So that's just. Yeah, it. yeah. I mean, let's face it. If we went, uh, and I'm coming back over here because I missed my favorite part, oh, which is the outdoor kitchen. The outdoor kitchen. And uh, it's just copper. It's just, oh, this is copper, folks. It's not green mold or anything. That's, that's copper. That's copper. Okay? That is awesome. And again, everything was painted to make it look the way it does. This was done purposely. This wasn't just, you know, hey, it's falling apart. It's not at all. It's absolutely exquisite. Wow. This is 
yeah, 700,000, 800,000, you know, that's like luxury where we have some nice little features, mother-in-law suites and extra big garages yeah, and a nice pool. Nice yeah. pool. But this just exceeds oh, yeah. and surpasses that again. Seven, over seven acres of high and dry land in Pinellas County. Um, the land alone, in my professional opinion, is worth right around 1.4 to 1.5. Um, so anybody who comes in here to purchase this home is going to get a phenomenal deal. Um, we're going to be doing a price reduction soon. So reach out to George um, and uh, definitely schedule your showing. Schedule a private, t private tour and I'd be more than happy to meet you guys out here and um, be able to showcase the property in person. Because even though we're doing a video tour, guys, it does not show what the true magnitude of this like it does not show the, the the true size and 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 it's actually the detail you can't you can't capture that in an image or in video so no in the pinellas county as well i've lived in pinellas county for 33 years and let me tell you uh you know, the prices are elevated compared to Pasco uh, uh, or Hillsboro or, you know, Bradenton area or, or any of their location, location. You got to knock location. something down to build something. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go build something just like it. Yeah. No, you're not. No, you're not. So we're going to come coming towards the, uh, the end of the property here. Wow. So as you come down, you see there's some brick, uh, little pathways. So the brick is actually reclaimed historic brick that she brought in from Georgia. So uh, a lot of repurposing, a lot of that Southern charm that she's trying to maintain within the home. Um, so that's also, it's just nice to see the little elements throughout. Um, and then you also have a little shed here uh, that is perfect to keep all of your sporting equipment, additional nets, rackets, tennis balls, um, any wow. of the fun extras. I would put a mini fridge in there for beverages. Heck yeah. And then you also have observation area here, which is awesome. Wow. Yeah. State of the art lighting system as well. Um, and then with having this size, this amount of land, you have plenty of space to store your RV. If you don't want to store your boat at a marina, you have plenty of space to store your, store your boat. You're a car collector. You enjoy having cars. We have a six car garage here um, that can comfortably fit eight if you are creative. Uh, so that's, that's an awesome feature there. And then if you work from home and you don't really have a use for a mother-in-law suite, my, me personally, I would turn that in-law suite that's on the second floor into an executive office. Oh, look at this. Oh so, yeah, this is like, you don't see stables like this. Uh, <laughs> no. So if anybody is interested in also um, turning their property into an income generating property, you can do what's called rebelting. You rebuild your property and what you can do is rent out your stables um, so that you can generate income. I mean, you can get anywhere from two to ten thousand dollars per stable depending on the amenities that you provide um, for individuals. So we have a breeding stable here as well and if horses aren't your thing you can do goats, chickens, bunnies, um, uh, cows, I mean whatever your heart desires there's plenty of space here for it. Um, I just got a message from somebody today asking if the arena, because there's a training arena back here, if the arena was closed in and indoor. It's not, but when you see it, you'll be able to tell how easily that can be done. So, I'm gonna walk through. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I am so glad you're giving this tour because I would <laughs> be, be lost. lost. Yeah. <laughs> so, here you come to the training arena. So, usually there is clay here, um, but because it has not been used um, in in a few years, um, quite frankly. Uh, unfortunately, it's been overgrown by grass. It needs to be maintained and rode on and raked regularly to be able to be you know, fully maintained. So that's not an issue. Um, and I don't know if anybody's familiar with what's called Appaloochan sand, I believe it is. I could be mispronouncing that, but it's a very expensive sand. And from what the seller told me, the value of that sand that is throughout the throughout the grounds is worth upwards of two million dollars just in sand alone um, and that is actually much more convenient for the horse's hooves and it helps with their joints and um wow. impact so yes 
And you can definitely, like, I again, fans. detail, detail. I see fans above Surround every system. single You've got, the, um, you've got the, the can lights, the recessed lighting here. You have automatic water feeders in every single stable. So it maintains the water 24-7. It keeps it flowing, keeps it cold and fresh. Um, so you're not having stagnant water as well. Um, you have a television here, which is outdated, of course. But, I mean, that's an easy fix. And you have the wiring in place so that if you want to, while you're cleaning your water, you have... You have a, a car wash for your horses here. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Now, if you look over to the edge of the arena, you have an observation deck, which is really cool because if you've got somebody out here training, um, you have an area where you can sit and observe. And then you also have an additional shed. So you want to turn it into a she shed, a he shed, a uh, little um, oversized uh, playhouse for your kids. That's an option as well. So. This is pretty much the edge of the property, and then it goes down and out about maybe another 50 to 100 feet back, so mm -hmm. that's cool as well. Um, and then if you want to peek into the breeding stables, she had all this custom painted as well. Oh, wow. Let's go here. Again, fans. The horses got more fans than I do. <laughs> they have their toys wow. to play with. Yes. Beautiful, hand painted. That is just awesome. It's all cedar wood, so I mean, you can smell it. Yeah. So cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> is that that sand that you were describing earlier? Um, I believe here? so. Um, underneath here, yeah. So a lot of that sand that's all throughout the property would have to be dug up. So I mean, like it's wow. all through the hill and the back, and because she had her horses roaming. So um, yeah, and then you have the sheds there that you store your RV or a boat under. Um, and then your property line actually goes up to where that white fence is, all the way against the green stable there. And you have one extra plot of land behind as well. So it just keeps on going and, and this is a, a massive property don't realize how large it is until they're here in person so now we, we've done some looks and of course uh, Smear's done her homework in the area and uh, you know some of these properties going in about the same price point uh, we're seeing a lot less property to it uh, you That's know flood zones flood Left zone um, yeah those are the two main things that are that are pointing out and also the ages of the homes too I mean, they're right there with this one some of them might be a little bit newer but a majority of the houses in this this is a very established area um, so a lot of the homes have been here for quite some time and the roots are here so the, the roots have been planted and then this, this again can't find us anywhere now this is very rare can we take a peek inside the garage sure. as i know there's a lot of car lovers out there and car collectors they need a spot to put their seven or eight vehicles. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at this. You got more gym equipment. You got professional toolboxes back there. You got two, four, six, easy six cars, some motorcycles. I'm a Harley fan, so. Wow, wow, beautiful space. Absolutely. Nice finished floors as well. That rubberized paint, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God, that's an old Jeep too. Oh, thank you. So there you go. We have RV, cars, little basketball hoop, tennis court, horse pens, whole training facilities, lots of land. Not a whole lot you left out. No. I'm not going to show you guys the in-law suite because I have to leave something for you guys to want to bring you guys back. So if you want to just give them a little sneak peek of the observation deck. Yeah, um, a little bit up there. I mean, you know. It's huge. I can just tell you that. It's ginormous. 
you can live comfortably in there and add a kitchen and just or if you guys have help that lives um, on your grounds that's another option mm -hmm. as well so that's a nice little feature to have a nanny or you know um, in-laws I mean, yeah. what better place or just so guest quarters yeah. Thank you so much, George, for stopping today, stopping by today, coming out to see the property. It was my pleasure to get to show show you the property. Oh, thank um, you. It's been it's been awesome. So, if you guys are interested? Hit up George, schedule a showing. I'll meet you guys here, and I'll give you the full tour and explain everything all over again. It'll be my pleasure. So, <laughs> so everybody, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all our information down below. Yes and uh, how to get a hold of us um, you know because uh, the gravity of this property uh, you know they have to be qualified buyers yes. that uh, want to come to the property Absolutely. so um, those uh, who are looking at this level understand that uh, so by all means uh, that's why we put this out there so if you were curious to see what a, a, a you know over two million dollar home looks like you you get that opportunity today which is a rare opportunity so I think that was pretty awesome uh, Samira let us do that thank you very of very course. much it's my pleasure guys and uh, if you uh, interested uh, by all means get a hold of us doesn't matter if you're out of state cross country wherever you are wherever you know we got zoom we're good yes absolutely we're yeah we're doing a lot of things <laughs> telephone and digitally um, and over video as well so um, be happy to do virtual tours um, and I respect any buyers that come um, through this video to be George's so um, just make sure you mention this video when you, if you reach out to me or reach out to George um, and we'll make the showing extra special for you we'll have champagne yeah thank you <laughs> see you guys have a good one. <laughs> If you have interest in this property, please contact me at 727-542-7773 or Samir at 727-510-1164.